Hello friends, it's me, Kit. When I'm not out fighting crime, I like to follow my friends at nightriderhistorians.com. Check it out. The name Jack Gill is synonymous with high-speed action, death-defying stunts, and precision vehicle work. Over the past 40 years, Jack has been part of a team responsible for some of the greatest stunts in television and movie history. Today we are going to focus on his work on Knight Rider. Jack started on the show as a stuntman and quite quickly moved into the stunt coordinator and second unit director roles. When you think of Kit's amazing feats, you must think of Jack and his team. On several occasions throughout the course of the series, Jack would step on camera in an usually uncredited role. Think of Dugan in Inside Out, a limo driver in Buy Out, or a mugger in Night of the Juggernaut. But that got us thinking. Were there any other episodes where we get a glimpse of Jack, even for half a second? Better yet, could we find Jack in every episode of Knight Rider? We knew this would be a huge undertaking. After all, Jack's job most of the time was to not be seen. And for those smaller 1980s cathode ray tube televisions, he mostly succeeded. But we live in the age of high definition, and with Knight Rider released on Blu-ray a few years back, well, now was the time to see if Jack can join the ranks of only David Hasselhoff and Edward Mulhair, and William Daniels, I suppose, as quote-unquote appearing in every episode of the series. So before we begin, let me answer a couple questions that I know I'll be receiving. Number one, what kind of a life do you have that you could watch the entire series nearly frame by frame to find Jack's face? Well, to those of you thinking that, thank you. In reality, this has been a very casual project of ours for many years. As we would watch the show and think we would see Jack, we'd go back to that scene and look at it frame by frame. Additionally, we had a number of folks quietly working to bring this all together. Make no mistake, this was an on-again, off-again project for many years. Question number two. How can you be sure each one of these is actually Jack? Well, we can't. In some instances, it is clear as day that it's Jack. Other times, we are looking at a blurry drive-by and think it's Jack based on the profile of his head. And as you'll see, there are a few instances where we did have to bend the rules a bit to accomplish this project, such as finding Jack in an episode that was stock footage from a previous episode, or a few scenes where he is blind driving and we don't see his face, but Jack has previously gone on record that it was him in those scenes. Basically, this was a fun prep project of ours and is only intended to entertain you and honor the man that brought Kit to life. Jack, if you're watching this, thank you for the years of enjoyment you provided us on Knight Rider and the enjoyment you continue to bring us on the big screen. Okay, let's get at it. <laughs> 